Hello, I'm at ITB Berlin 2023 with Edward. He is the Vice President of Europe and Americas. I am at Etihad Airways stand and he is sitting in the business class of A350. Edward, how are you doing today? I'm doing brilliantly. It's the first time in four years that we're back at ITB, welcoming our customers to the fantastic Etihad stand, our great product, and meeting the rest of the Abu Dhabi family here on the DCT stand. Right. So, can you tell us more about your network you are responsible? Yeah, so I look after the West region, which is basically all of the Americas and all of Europe. And we've got some fantastic opportunities we've just announced. So we're flying more to Copenhagen, we're flying more to Lisbon, we're flying more to Frankfurt, and we're putting our A380 back into uh, London uh, to bring that product back so that people can experience the fantastic A380. But we're also, because we're in Germany, going back to Dusseldorf, uh, which will be an amazing opportunity for our German clientele. So with Dusseldorf, how many connections do you have from Germany? So Dusseldorf will fly three times a week, and it will connect through to Abu Dhabi, and it will connect to all, the vast majority of our connections beyond. So be that the Indian subcontinent, be that Mali, the Seychelles, Japan, uh, or the rest of Asia, or even China. There are many opportunities from customers here in Germany to connect from Dusseldorf, and they can go from Munich, and they can go from Frankfurt as well. Edward, when someone from U.S. is traveling to Far East, the main question is the connectivity, the yeah. transit time. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, so we have a fantastic airport in Abu Dhabi, which people can connect from East Coast America through to the Indian subcontinent, and Abu Dhabi Airport is a great connection experience. The time depends on where they're connecting to, but also if they're traveling in business class, they've got access to the Etihad lounges in Abu Dhabi, which are some of the best lounges in the world. Will you tell me something about your miles and the program that uh, frequent flyer program a uh, customer can register on board yep. or online? So they can do uh, either place. The Etihad Guest is the Etihad Loyalty Program. But we do something very specific with uh, Etihad Guest, and we're the most sustainable loyalty program. So we have something called Conscious Choices, where customers can make a conscious choice to be greener, and therefore they earn more loyalty. So. A little example is if they bring a lighter bit of hand luggage, it means that there's less carbon emitted and we will reward them for making that conscious choice to do something better for the environment. So do you are also partner with uh, hotels and spas and things like that where your customer can use the miles there? Yep, so we have a full partnership program where customers can earn and burn miles in different locations. Depending on the country, it all depends where they can spend those miles. But there are always some great opportunities, be it retail, be it wellness, be it leisure, or buying additional flights. What about your A380? Yeah, so our A380. Coming on the way? Yep, so it comes back the 15th of July into London. We're bringing three of them back uh, into service, and it means that our customers can experience from the full range of Etihad product, including our amazing first class apartments. So I'm looking forward to being in London on the 15th to see the delighted faces of all of our customers. That's amazing. And do you think you will be, we will see more? new network in the European subcontinent? So I, everyone hopes so. We've seen an additional uh, network uh, announcement around those additional Copenhagen, Dusseldorf, Lisbon, additional Frankfurt, the extra capacity uh, on London. So filling that extra capacity is one of my team's primary jobs so that we make more people understand the value that Etihad and Abu Dhabi has to offer from both a business uh, perspective but also from their leisure travel to really understand the attractions that are available in Abu Dhabi. Edward, my last question would be, what about code share partner airlines? Do you want to increase the list or you do you have something in, my, in your mind that customer will have more flexible option? So we always look at our alliances and our partners uh, to understand kind of what direction that we can go in. But our focus at the moment is how do we really fill that additional capacity that we have coming into Europe? So Copenhagen, Lisbon, Dusseldorf, the additional A380s and the additional Frankfurt. And by focusing on that and delivering for our customers, we're really drive Etihad and will really drive Abu Dhabi. 
Thank you so much. That was Edward, Vice President of Europe and USA for Etihad Airways. We are talking to, for Travel and Tour World in Berlin. Thank you very much.